Mama's taco salad? <laughs> yeah. Do you want a bite? <laughs> yeah, me, me, me. Me, me, me. If you want a bite, raise your hand. Me, me, me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Morning, guys. <laughs> um, welcome to my breakfast. I was in the mood for something really funky this morning, so I made myself this huge taco, chicken taco salad. It is um, my homemade pressure canned yeah, chicken. Yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my my homemade pressure canned chicken cooked with some mozzarella cheese in it, melted all together and delicious. And it is sitting on a bed of romaine lettuce with some green bell pepper and thinly sliced onions. Um, 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 and it's topped with my grass-fed organic yogurt instead of sour cream. It tastes basically the same, even better. And it has the probiotics in it. And on top, it's some organic salsa. Um, it's very, very low carb. The one that I found, you just have to check the label. You'll be surprised oftentimes that you'll find things that are keto that you didn't even know were keto or keto friendly. So yeah, and then topped with a little bit of the hot pepper sauce. So yeah, that's gonna be my breakfast. And um, yeah, that's gonna keep me full for a while. So I will see you guys for my lunch and I'm gonna enjoy my big beautiful salad. <laughs> well guys, I was afraid this day might come. And looks like it has. And no, they have not hatched. It is day 25. I gave it that much more extra time because I researched online and it said that some people's um, chicks didn't begin to hatch until day 24, 25. So I decided to give it a shot. But uh, I kept noticing that this temperature kept going up and down, up and down, and it was just very unstable. So I had a bad feeling that something like this could happen. And it has, so I don't think these guys are going to hatch. You guys saw the movement in uh, this egg on film just days ago. And it was alive and well. But um, I've been candling the egg. Well, this one I can't see into it at all. So there's no way really to know what's going on except for it was uh, nice and dark. And you could tell obviously it was viable. It was um, ready to go had it survived. So, yeah, the sad news is, looks like the chicks didn't make it and they're not going to hatch. And this, whatever you want to call it, incubator, <laughs> is going straight in the garbage after I'm done with this video. I am very, very disappointed and sad, but you know what, lesson learned. And um, I am definitely going to buy a commercial grade kind of a farm incubator next after this, just in time for spring. I'm glad I'm doing this now and not in March when, you know, chicken season starts. So yeah, I'm just not going to try this again. It was now 25 days waiting and I believe it was, you know, a waste because nothing happened but it was also a good experiment. I know some people are successful with these and they must have a good machine, you know. I'm sure they're not all, you know, made with the same defects, but this one was just a complete dud. I mean, at first it fried the egg basically and then the other ones, it didn't warm equally or evenly and now it was alive and then they just, you know, the temperatures started going crazy. So, yeah, anyway, enough rambling. Very sad, very sad. I'm gonna get rid of these guys. And um, next time you guys see any chicks on our little homestead, our little mini homestead, they will most definitely be alive and well and they will not have been incubated by this hunk of junk. 
sorry, whoever makes this, but anyway, yeah, very sad. like two hours scooping uh, old chicken um, bedding and so I'm just going to sprinkle with diatomaceous earth to kill any little bugs that we would not want there and now I'm going to be putting in some lovely fresh bedding to make my little egg laying ladies happy in their home so yeah the white powder like I said is the diatomaceous earth to get everything nice and um, nice and nice and dead <laughs> everything that I don't want there the chickens don't want there yeah this is good stuff I'll show you guys when I'm done putting the bedding in here alrighty it's all done looks really good fresh I uh, mixed in some more diatomaceous surf into into the new wood shavings so they're going to be safe and um, safe from any kinds of nasty little critters and yeah they're going to be happy chickens all right that was hard work <laughs> I love this thing what you got there is that mama's makeup brush yeah. What are you going to do with it? As you can see, she's been playing in here. Little paper all over the carpet. She helped Mama decorate the floor. <laughs> right? Did you help Mama decorate the floor? Oh, yeah. Good. <laughs> Give it to Mama. Here. Yes. Yes. Good, Emmy. <laughs> Good <laughs> Does it tickle like a bunny? Boop. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have to get it back in a second? Cause Mama's getting ready. Can I have it? Can Mama have it back? Can you give it to Mama? Thank you. You're so nice. For being so nice, you can have it back for another minute. Here you go. with mama's little chipmunk toy from when I was a kid. <laughs> it's so neat to see your kid playing with one of your toys that you used to have when you were little. Yeah, don't mind that over there folding laundry. Right, Amy? Is it fun to play with mama's old toy? We're getting ready. There's my goodie bag. So much stuff in here. <laughs> I keep all my makeup in a Ziploc bag because when my husband and I go to Germany, I have to do it anyway, so I just leave it there permanently. That's just how I like it. <laughs> right, Amy? That's how mama likes it. Okay, can I have my brush back now? I need my brush. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hey friends, welcome to my lunch table. Today I'm having a beautiful romaine lettuce salad with um, some yummy crab meat on top. It's 100% crab meat. It's not those fake imitation crab legs. This is real crab meat and also some smoked salmon that I love to get at Costco. Uh, and also this is my homegrown alfalfa alpha sprouts. And this is my favorite by far favorite grass-fed organic yogurt. Um, I buy this one. It is so delicious. It comes from 100% grass-fed um, cow's milk. And um, yeah, I like to use this instead of sour cream and other stuff, um, mostly. So yeah, I think I named it, oh, I forgot. Also, there is some right there, shredded mozzarella and yeah it's topped with aside from the yogurt it also has some 
um, olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, only the Costco brand, as you all know, if you watch my other videos. And I'm having it with um, my non-bulletproof coffee. <laughs> it's just a regular coffee, but with some of my favorite extras. I don't need to add any more extra fat. I don't believe you have to swim in fat um, to be keto, but I don't want to go off on that right now. But yeah, so there's plenty of fat in there in my salad. So yeah, I'll see you guys for my next meal. P.S. I forgot to mention the crab meat is sauteed in um, Kerrygold butter. So um, like I said, there's plenty of fat in there. to Wally World right now. So you guys, I just got back from grocery shopping and I thought why not throw in a little video of what I got today on my quick little shopping trip. There's the jalapeno peppers that I transplanted today. Having so much fun with all this early spring stuff. Like I said, in my head it's already spring. <laughs> yeah. So let's see what I'm having for dinner. While I was transplanting the jalapeno peppers, I had this beautiful baby cooking. And this is, I'm kind of on a cabbage kick lately, this last week. I had cabbage probably at least three times this week or four, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, and again, it looks like a lot, but it's not, it's kind of a small plate. So as you can see, compared to my hand. So yeah, this is uh, sauteed cabbage with onion, um, some parsley sprinkled in there. Uh, sauteed in avocado oil and um, I crisped up some bacon and uh, also tuna in there. This is really delicious and it has grass-fed um, organic yogurt on top um, so it goes in really well together and it, it's really awesome when you put some hot sauce on top also it makes it really delicious and like I could eat this any time of day and and I don't know if you guys know this but cabbage has really high amounts of vitamin C and that is awesome vitamin C is so important and uh, yeah so that's what I'm having for dinner tonight and um, make sure you subscribe and like and comment under the video and I will see you guys next time oh are you gonna go for a ride say bye Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>